In the Lord's Supper, what do the bread and wine represent? Well, that's the question that we're looking at and answering in today's daily devotion. I'm Pastor John Blevins. It's Friday, December 4th, 2020. I'm thankful that you're here with us for another devotion. Well, let's hear from God. Let's turn in His Word, in the Bible, to the New Testament, to Matthew, the Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 26, and we're going to read verses 26 through 30. Now, as they were eating, Jesus took bread, and after blessing it, broke it, and gave it to the disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body. And he took a cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink of it, all of you, for this is my blood of the covenant which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. I tell you, I will not drink again of this fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. And when they had sung a hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. That's one of several of our study passages that are down in the description there. Those study passages come together and give us our theology portion as we seek to answer our question in the Lord's Supper, what do the bread and wine represent? Well, our passage in Matthew clearly gives us an answer, uh, but we're going to also uh, expand on that a little bit as we look at all the study passages, the several that are there. As they come together, they give us our theology portion coming from Westminster Confession of Faith, chapter 29, section 5. The outward elements in this sacrament duly set apart to the uses ordained by Christ, have such relation to him crucified as that truly yet sacramentally only they are sometimes called by the name of the things they represent. To wit, the body and blood of Christ, albeit in substance and nature, they still remain truly and only bread and wine as, as they were before. So we see from both our passage in Matthew, the institution of the Lord's Supper that Jesus gives there, our theology portion, uh, it's clear that from both these places, and primarily, of course, we're deriving it from God's Word, that in the Lord's Supper, the bread and wine represent Christ's body and blood. And we read uh, the purpose and understanding of that. I hope you... Hope you are being blessed by our little mini-mini season dealing with the Lord's Supper as we continue to move through it. Look forward to the next few days. Until we're together again, may our great God bless and keep you.